So thatched roofs, everybody loves a thatched roof. We're very familiar with them over time on chocolate boxes, picture postcards, tea towels, all this sort of thing. But actually there's more to a thatch roof than simply looking pretty. In time, so as we look at the progression of, or the chronology of construction, we've essentially only had two products available for most people in, in the UK, which is straw thatch or water reed thatch. There are some slight variations, and certainly if you go up to the north, you sometimes get heather being used for thatch. But essentially, just for the purposes of this discussion, we can consider water reed and straw. Now, water reed, the market for water reed has largely come from the Easter east side of England, Norfolk reed being uh, the, the generally considered to be the best and store elsewhere. And for hundreds of years, the generalisation has been that water reed is always substantially better than straw. Within the last 20, 30 years, that generalisation has diminished simply because of the use of imported uh, reed materials. Now, what I want to show you, I've got here are some examples of different uh, materials which are used for thatching and it's useful just to be aware of what is available on the market. This one nearest the camp, nearest you, this is a genuine Norfolk reed. It's slightly darker in colour than this reed, which is an imported um, continental reed, possibly French, certainly from Europe. And this one is an imported reed from Asia. And the quality difference between them, although they're technically the same product in the sense of their water reeds, in fact, actually, the Norfolk reed is substantially better quality. It's thicker stemmed and the stems themselves have thicker walls. And from experience, we know that they, the Norfolk reed will last or certainly outlast these ones that we've seen um, in, in practice. This little one here, this is neither a straw nor a reed, and this is a product called triticale, which is a, um, a relatively modern species, which has been bred specifically because it's resistant to a lot of um, disease and the population of disease from um, one farm to another. It comes in relatively um, short lengths, and it's very lightweight. It's more akin to a straw than a reed, but it's, it's quite widely used but it, it has very limited um, lifespan relative by comparison with a good quality Norfolk reed. And finally, we've got a genuine straw here. You can see the head of the straw. And this is, in comparison to the others, is probably the weakest of the lot. It's very thin walled, very easily um, compressible and so forth. So where thatch is concerned, the important things to, to consider are where the material came from, whether it's a, a reed or a straw, the, the source and location, provenance of its source is really important. The skill of the thatcher in compressing and putting on nice and tightly so you get a very even bed. All of these things are really important. And finally, on top of the thatch, if you're in an area where you have a lot of birds or the thatch itself is perhaps not a, a very steep pitch and it's susceptible to bird damage, then covering the thatch with a chicken mesh to prevent bird damage will, will considerably help because birds will, if a thatch is a, a, on perhaps a north facing roof or a, an angle which isn't very steep, birds will um, love to eat on the, the insects which will grow on it and the biodegradation that will occur naturally after that. So there we go, um, thatching, very traditional product for use, but with the importation of um, reeds, as we can see here, about 80% of reed use in this country is imported. We have seen a decline in the quality and longevity of our thatch reeds. Mm -hmm.